in Chicago at Light Reading's big telecom event, and I'm sitting here with Dee Dee Dayton, who is Symantec's head of service provider channels, and we're talking about what else? Cybersecurity. Dee Dee, thanks for taking the time. Thank you. So, security has been a huge issue this year. It keeps coming up in the news over and over again. How is that affecting Symantec? Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. And really, the focus has been on providing cybersecurity strategies across the board for those boards of directors that are having to provide a cybersecurity comprehensive plan. And so what we put together is a solution in response to many of the trends that we're seeing across all industries, across agencies globally. And what we're seeing is a few trends. So if you look at IOT, if you look at BYOD, there's blending of personal with corporate data on people's devices. Data centers are moving to the cloud. There is no more perimeter. And what we're seeing is a response that's needed from boards of directors to that problem. And the attack surface has also changed in that it's now gone from the network to everywhere. And so these attacks are complicated, they're difficult to track, and the attackers themselves have found a lot of new techniques to go after data, and that's one of the main things that we're here to help protect. And how are you doing that? So there are a couple things that we're doing that are kind of exciting. One of them is to also enhance the user's privacy and user's data as that those attacks are being held on people's devices. And at Semantic, one of our plans is to kill the password. So we're seeing that the password is, uh, if you look at some of the attacks that came through, like um, in Forbes last week, you have 1.2 billion passwords that were stolen off of websites. And that is one of the key areas that the attackers are looking for, is how do they get their hands on the data? And the answer is through the password. So is that the only type of threat you're looking for? No, there are a lot of different kinds of threats. So with the internet of things, we're seeing remotely controlled drones, we're seeing cars that are self-driven, we're seeing healthcare devices that are also remotely controlled. And if those devices can be compromised, then that obviously poses a large threat to the community at large. And so those are examples of what we're doing to help combat that threat. We're also looking at blending data um, and blending some of the security um, responses. So providing an architecture that is self-defending and providing unified threat protection across the board. So advanced threat protection and unified threat protection are two core tenets of what we're doing. So it sounds like the Symantec is shifting the focus away from just antivirus and, and malware and towards what? Well, there are all kinds of threats. There's just the threat to uh, the infrastructure, there's threat to the user, there's threat to the corporate asset. And so when you look at these threats, it's not just about antivirus. That's really the old school thinking. And today, the new, the new trend is all about being able to do data convergence and being able to do analytics and reporting so that as a user, your experience is the same, whether you're logging in from your email in one place, and then five minutes later, our analytics say that you've also logged in in Russia. That's a problem. So that type of unified threat analysis is something that we're offering today that is light years ahead of what we've seen in the past. And so it's not just about antivirus, which is more about known threats. This is all about being able to do detection and correlation and immediate response. Can a, a fingerprint eliminate the password? Is that feasible? So what we're doing is we're using the biometrics on your phone and using that as a replacement for having to log in your password every time. Because if you're a traveler and if you're in the industry, you basically find that when you're on the road and you have to plug in your password every time, it's your user experience has been disrupted. So ultimately, we're about protecting the data, but we also want to make sure that those, those devices are continuing to be used because that's where a lot of the threats are taking place. So what about uh, the risk of clicking on these links and emails? I, I, I know I've been guilty of doing it you're, you're once or twice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not uncommon. And, and really what it happens is what happens right immediately thereafter. And what we're trying to do is the prevention before that attack is carried out when you click on that link so that that malware is never downloaded onto your system. And so that if there is a problem, then we can see it ahead of time. So what we're doing is adaptive response and we're offering networks and systems that are basically ready to be self-defending. And the partners, it's particularly important for the service providers in anticipation of your question. Okay. 
Um, it's particularly important because they own the infrastructure that the customer is using to run that data across, and they're also responsible for securing that data. So the risk is now being offset from the company or the agency to the partner, and they're now equally responsible, if not more so, because they have to track that data no matter where it is in the world. And with no perimeter, there's no way to track really whether it's going from here to there and across what servers. So maintaining that data integrity is absolutely critical to the service providers, and having a solution that is completely architected for the customer is something that we've built. So we've made it easy to buy, we've made it easy to sell, we've made it easy for the customer to offer a complete comprehensive uh, security solution. So it sounds like you're doing a lot of things and really changing the, the, the focus, but as, as we know with adversaries and, and the bad guys, you can never be too many steps ahead. So where are we going? What's next? The next generation of what we're doing is taking sensors from the partner's environments and combining that with our analytics capabilities and offering a complete, comprehensive, advanced security solution. So the, ultimately what that will look like is being able to tell that board of director, who's not a savvy security person, we're protecting our users, we're protecting our data, and we're protecting the infrastructure, and basically offering a complete analytic and adaptive response. And that will cover all devices? It covers everything from the network to the perimeter to the cloud, and the, all of the solutions that we're coming out with in the next few months are, are ready for cloud. So that's a really exciting place for us to be. Yeah, and important. And very important place to be. Well, Didi, thanks so much for taking the time. All right, thanks so much.